Today is Monday, October 23rd, 2023, camping up at Monongahela National Forest in Canaan Heights, West Virginia, outside of Davis. Beautiful day. It's going to be a great week. I have this great campsite I got. Um, it's, it's really kind of, it's not super far off the road, but it's it's nice. I, mean, I could actually back the truck up farther, but I wanted to be on an angle like that for better sleeping. But the campsite itself is way uh, protected off the wet, but way off the road, so you have very good screening. All this uh, beautiful mountain, uh, some of it's mountain laurel, little stuff, big stuff is rhododendron or great laurel. And it just, you know, it, it grows all over the place here. The woods is thick with it. It's a great, I love coming up to Monongahela National Forest. I mean, too bad it's 500 miles from Albany. I'd come out here a lot more. But every two years, it's special. And this year, I've decided, you know, this is going to be my camp for the week. I'm going to spend my, my whole week around Davis, do a lot of bike riding, uh, hiking, you know, go down to the um, wildlife refuge, maybe go to Dolly Sods and Seneca Rocks one day. I'm undecided, but that's a pretty good trip. And I just kind of would rather stay closer to and spend my time exploring Thomas. I actually got this campsite at like, 6.30, 6.45 last night, and it was cold and dark, and I really didn't set things up too much till this morning, but I fear if I'm going to be here for, uh, through Saturday, that's, you know, five more nights, I might as well have the tent so I can put gear in there, or if I get cold, I'd bring the heater in and get warmed up, and, uh, but this campsite is really basically perfect for me, it's just a nice size, and as I said, I could bring in the truck back further, but I have it up there further in part because there's better sun there. But uh, yeah, I love this site. I don't think I've ever been like I don't think I've ever camped this one before. I've camped at a couple of the other sites, which are many of them are very similar to this. And it's just nice up here. I mean, I'm only about six, seven miles away from Davis, so you know, there's a grocery store there. There's um, uh, some restaurants. Uh, the Canaan Valley Wildlife Refuge, which is great for birding, is down not too far. A lot of a lot of gravel roads for ride and bike. And uh, just, yeah, it's going to be a great week. Today I've been kind of a little bit slow, just kind of getting things set up. And uh, it was a very cold start to the morning. I mean, it was only about, uh, I don't know, 25, 26 degrees out, which isn't super cold, but it's the damp. And it was really breezy last night. And yesterday was a real busy day because I spent uh, four or five hours uh, riding trail on... Uh, uh, the Cumberland, uh, Chesapeake in Ohio bike trail from south from Cumberland. Then I turned around, did some of the great, great, uh, great Allegheny Passage heading north out of Cumberland, and then I had to get some groceries in Kaiser. And I had to get, get uh, pro wanted to fill the propane tank so I'd have enough for six nights in case it's really cold. And then um, I just you know I get gas and other things, and I just. By the time I got up here, it was really getting dark out. But I found this great site, and I'm very happy with it. And I mean, it's just wonderful. There's just a lot I can do here. I mean, I kind of like road trips, seeing the different scenery, and the colors are great driving down here. Really don't have any complaints. I mean, it was not a long trip, but uh, Big Red made it, and he's doing good. Uh, I mean, it'd probably be the last time I take Big Red down here, because if I come here in, you know, in 2025, Red would be... Uh, 14 years old at that point and I mean he's running good right now but you know maybe time to start looking at a different vehicle at that point but uh would be nice as a more fuel efficient especially with gas prices what they are nowadays I mean red red does pretty good but red drinks drinks fuel especially in those mountains I mean it was funny it was uh started at the bottom of the uh um started at the bottom of the Appalachian Divide there or the Eastern Continental Divide over uh, the, over uh, whatever that mountain's called. Um, Ep, I forget, but, uh, you know, past Mount Storm there. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's had six, 350 miles left of fuel. Then we're also down to 300 miles of fuel over about five miles, it seemed like. But uh, that's a good climb, even though that new highway makes it a lot, a lot easier to drive up it. But, uh, yeah, it's been great. I love it up here. I wish it wasn't so far away. I don't know if we'll be back here in two years. I might. Uh, I might do something different. Who knows? Uh, you know, times change. I'm getting older. Who knows what I'll be doing next. 
but it's great to be up here. It's going to be a great week. I'm just going to relax, enjoy it, and try, you know, do a lot of biking and stuff and take advantage of it.